Ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Welcome back to another Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Listen, if you like Pokemon stuff, you are in the right place, and you should probably subscribe if you haven't already. I'm well on my way to 300k, and it would mean a lot if you could help out. Today, I've got a really good match against the legend Skyrander. He's a creator that uses really cool Pokemon. I always look up to this dude, try to get him on the channel as much as possible, because uh, our battles are always extremely good. And let's just go ahead and jump into this one. So, he's going to go ahead and lead off with his Flapple. I decide to go with the uh, true OG, the Triangle. This Electrode, this fella has been around since like the start of my channel. And if you've been around for a really long time around here, you, you know Triangle. He's literally born in 2008 on the YouTube channel. So, I'm going to go right for the Volt Switch. Uh, this is a Choice Specs Electrode, and I really just wanted to get a nice little fast pivot here. And I'm expecting potentially just a Grab Apple. I don't know what type of you know, Apple this is going to be, but I do have Heimlich, and this thing is weirdly defensive. I made it bold in, like, max defense, uh, so I know I can take an attack from this thing, and I can try to get old Heimlich going. Unfortunately, he actually just goes for the U-turn, uh, which I probably should have predicted because, you know, the turn one U-turn, uh, he actually ends up getting the benefit of it because he goes second, and now he gets to choose a matchup. So that is not great for my weird-ass Dung Beetle. Also, important to note that I actually look like choice ban damage. I know that I'm super weak to bug, but I'm pretty defensive, and that shit hurted. So... Uh, he ends up bringing in the Clawitzer. Now, of course, I know a Dark Pulse is coming. I also don't really have any reason to stay in here and take that. So, I now have to switch. I decided to go into Muck. Kind of my best, def uh, especially defensive switch in here. And I could potentially try to get something going. It's actually a really interesting matchup between our two teams. We have answers to a lot of our threats. And it's going to be kind of a guessing game to try to, you know, get some switch predictions right. So, we love a high, we love a high level matchup here. But... Muck comes in, I'm able to soak up the attack nicely, however, he has an answer directly to Muck, and that is going to be his Tinkaton. So, expecting Young Hammer Fairy to come in, I'm actually going to end up double switching myself into the Quagsire. So, luckily for me, he does actually end up switching into the Tinkaton. This thing comes in expecting to soak up a nice little poison jab, but I say, I doubt it, bitch. How can I can offer you instead one Quagsire. So, this is actually a great matchup for me. Uh, I can pressure it really tough with the Earthquake. I can also potentially set up my Stealth Rock. I could predict the switch, go for a Toxic. The dude Quagsire is out here with some options. I decided to just go for the Stealth Rock. It seems best for me to try to punish these switches as much as possible and try to whittle things down. Uh, as he actually ends up staying in and goes for the knockoff. So I lose my leftovers, um, but I do get the Stealth Rock up, which is great. I probably should have tried to go for the Earthquake there, expecting him to stay in and go for the knockoff. I know that the Quagsire uh, is actually a really big problem to his team. And if I can keep this thing alive, I have a lot of pressure uh, upon switching this in. His best answer is going to be this, and that is this red-ass apple. The inferior apple type, chalky-ass red apple. This post was made by Granny Smith Gang. Anyway, I go for the Earthquake, he switches into that nicely, of course, knocks him down to about half, and I definitely need to conserve the Quagsire. It's almost my win condition against a lot of his uh, offensive Pokemon. So, I decide to switch here. I'm gonna bring in the Muck. I'm thinking he goes for the Grab Apple. I can take that pretty nicely, so that should be fine. I come in, wave my hands up, saying, how's it going? He actually ends up going for the fucking Outrage, so... That is bad news for me. This thing is likely Hustle, so you give up a little bit of accuracy, but you get some increased damage, plus with a Choice Band and Stab, there was not a muck on the face of this earth that was living that. So that is unfortunate, however, it does give me a free switch in to the boy Paint Dip, coming in, looking drippy, ready to uh, ready to go for a nice little Brave Bird. I know I easily outspeed with that Choice Scarf. He is locked into Outrage there. Uh, so that's kind of a free kill on the Apple. Now that's important to note, because now Quagsire... That fella is running around free of worries. There's not a blade of grass that can hurt him, and he is having a time. So, that is super nice to trade Muck, essentially, for the Flapple there, as now he gets a free switch into Young Coffee Table. This thing uh, is kind of annoying. I, I don't have a whole lot for this thing. I have close combat on Staraptor, and I also have close combat on the Brute Bonnet. So, I actually end up going for the switch into the Quagsire here. I know that he's likely just going to go for the Ice move here. I know I can take that easily. And if I potentially could, I'd like to get a nice little Toxic on this guy to, to start whittling it down. So, he actually ends up going for the Rapid Spin, which is like the disrespect to my Quagsire. I worked hard putting those up, and then you spin them right in my face as I switch in. You, you hate to see it. But uh, I'm going to go for the Toxic here, as he's going to end up switching. Does not want that thing to, to take the Toxic. He ends up going into the Ori Kurio. Uh, now, this is, this is a little guy that I do not see often. I know... Uh, that this thing is going to try to set up, and it has the Revelation Dance, which kind of changes type based on uh, which type of Ori Kurio you're working with. So this is the Firebird, and I have an option here. I can either stay in, watch the free dance show, and go for the Surf, or end up switching out. I decide to opt for the Switch. I know that Quagsire uh, is still super useful for me here, and I tell you who isn't useful pretty much ever 
is this freaking Rabska. Uh, unless I could get a Revival Blessing up, that would be kind of nice. But I come in on the Quiver Dance here, and my plan is pretty much just to sack the Rabska to get a better answer to this thing. And I, I can't, I cannot let this thing sweep me. If I get swept by the Ori Kurio, I may have to just delete my YouTube channel. So, uh, Heimlich's over here spinning his weird little thing, eating some leftovers, having a time as... I'm going to try to go for the Revival Blessing if he decides to get greedy and go for another Quiver Dance here. But he's going to end up switching up the old dance here, goes for the Revelation, and I just get completely served. Heimlich and his weird mustache do in fact go down, but that is fine because this thing does take some toxic damage. And now that I'm looking at it, this is a dude that does not feel like taking a Sucker Punch. At least, I hope. Uh, so I decide to bring in the Grinch. Now this thing is Life Orb, and it's uh, actually Max Attack. So... This thing is meant to kind of catch people off guard with its weird offensive powers. So, uh, I am going to go for the nice little stab sucker punch here. I don't care how many dances you got, I'm still faster with the sucker punch. And that does take care of the Ori Kurio. So, that is a threat out of the way. All I had to do was basically sack the uh, the Rabska, who at half health wasn't going to be doing much anyway. So, now he gets a free switch and he decides to go into the Avalug. Now, there's two things you can be certain about when you're facing an Avalug. Number one, that's a pretty nice table. Number two... It's actually defensive as tit. So I decide to go for the Spore rather than straight for the close combat. Uh, I know if this thing can just basically stay asleep for one turn, I can close combat him twice, and that is going to take this thing out. He, actually, I, close combat is a very weird move for a Brute Bonnet to know, uh, but I'm here for it because why not? This thing can just absolutely beat the living shit out of you. So I go for the close combat here. It does do about as much as you'd expect. And fortunately for me, this thing does stay taking a nice little nap here. So the reason why that's mostly good is because I want to keep Brute Bonnet alive uh, just for the, the potential answer for the, the Sucker Punch later on. I know I can get some pretty solid stab damage uh, on pretty much anything that he has left. So one more close combat is going to finish off the Avalug, and having that Spore support is extremely nice. That guaranteed sleep, absolute game changer. Plus, the Amoongus with the curtains is slept on. I'm here to support the guy. He can't even see the haters because the curtains are in the way. Uh, but that does take care of the Avalug, and he's now down to three. So the Grinch is over here bouncing around, stealing Christmas and stealing your bitches. And now he gets a free switch into the Lobster. So I don't really have anything that wants to switch into this anymore. Uh, but what I can do is just go right for the Sucker Punch, chip this thing to the point where it's guaranteed to go down uh, to Electrode or the Braviary. So the Sucker Punch does a whole bunch of damage in the Aura Sphere is going to take me out. So he's down to the, the Clydeser who is below half. He has the Tinkaton at full and an Iron Jugglers who hasn't seen the field yet. I still have my Quagsire uh, who is my answer to a few of those. So I decide to actually go into the triangle here. The absolute goat. He'd be rolling around all triangular and shit. And I know that I can outspeed everything on his team. And with that specs, I'm actually able to hit super hard. So uh, I'm thinking he's probably going to want to switch into the Tinkaton here. I think depending on what build that thing is running, those things are actually relatively specially defensive, and it could probably take two Thunderbolts. So I decide to instead go for the Volt Switch, as he does actually end up switching into the Tinkaton here. So I go for the Volt Switch, doesn't do too much damage, but that does give me the nice little free switch into uh, likely the Quagsire. Star after I'm basically saving that thing in the back to be able to scarf out speed uh, his last Mon there. So... Quagmire gonna hit him with a Giggity on the switch in, and I know that I can for sure take at least one Gigaton Hammer, and it's actually an iffy call going for the Earthquake here. He could potentially just switch into his Iron Jugglers, and for that reason, I'm actually just gonna go for the Surf instead. I gotta be on my toes about the switch in, because if that thing comes in, that's a bad time. So I go for the Surf, he does actually end up conserving the Tinkaton, and he does go into what might be the worst design for a Paradox Mon. This thing is about ugly as hell. He does switch in and actually activates a booster energy, which gives it the Quark Drive, and that's gonna boost its speed, which is quite scary because now I'm actually concerned that I think this thing actually outspeeds my Choice Scarf Star Raptor, and that is not, not that great. So I don't really have anything that wants to switch into this. My Surf did negative damage to it, and I basically just stay in here. I'm gonna try to get as much chip as possible. Um, and he actually ends up going for the Terra here. So it's looking like it's coming down to uh, whatever the hell this freaking robot High Dragon can do to me, and I am scared. So it actually turns into Terra flying. I guess the balloons on his head looking like even more of a bozo. Um, but now it's flying moves are going to do a whole shit ton. Turns out this man actually has balls of steel running hurricane. Just raw dog and hurricane. Not even any rain up. It actually ends up missing um, because the accuracy on that is not great. And it allows me to get another little surf up, which is, you know, that's fine. I don't really have much else to do. I could toxic it, but I'm figuring, fuck, I'm just going to keep going for the surfs. He does end up landing the hurricane. And with the boosted stab from the Terra, Quagsire stands no chance. So Hurricane coming from a Terra flying 
um, freaking Iron Juggles is extremely scary. And basically now I need a Hurricane to miss or a Star Raptor to outspeed, which I haven't done the calcs, but I think this thing does outspeed after the speed boost. So I bring in Paint Dip basically with a hope and a dream thinking, okay, there's, there's, there's a chance. I can go for the Brave Bird here and cross my fingers and pray. I don't have really any other better option. Just go right for the Brave Bird. He outspeeds, but misses the Hurricane, which is wildly unfortunate. My guy is one for three on the Hurricanes, and uh, a Brave Bird is gonna be able to take care of it. I pop all of his balloons and rain on his parade. Uh, actually, if there would have been rain at the parade, his Hurricane may have hit, but you know, unfor unfortunate that he does miss that Hurricane there, because it actually likely would have uh, would have sealed the game, because all I had left was the Electrode in the back. So. Uh, sometimes, you know, that's the way it goes when you rely on Hurricane, but uh, I, res I respect the, the grind though, for real. Anyway, uh, now he goes into one of his last two Pokemon that is going to be the Tinkaton, and all I really need to do at this point uh, is chip this to the point where then, you know, Electrode can come in, outspeed, and kill it with a Thunderbolt, because I saw from that Volt Switch damage, it's not going to quite be enough. So I go for the Terra Flying of my own, I say, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm just going to steal those balloons you have. Those look kind of fun. I go for the, the Terra. Just basically get that little bit of extra damage on the Brave Bird here. Um, and it is actually going to do quite a bit of damage. Star Raptor is one of the biggest threats in like the underused here right now. This thing is quite a menace. So I'm able to do a bunch there. It kills me with the Gigaton Hammer. Smushes me into a fucking pancake. Uh, but that is fine because I did what I needed to do. Which was dodging the shit out of that Hurricane. And chipping uh, the Tinkaton there. So... My final Pokemon is going to be the Electrode, and ordinarily when you just have an Electrode left, you're usually in a pretty bad spot. But this Electrode is not like the others, and this thing is an absolute legend. Got my cool ass sunglasses on with my choice specs, and it's looking like a Thunderbolt that should be able to outspeed everything and finish it off. Electrode is a very slept on Pokemon because, you know, there's like a thousand better options for this thing. But at least in this generation, it actually gets access to... Uh, of course, the Terra option to be able to go for a nice little Ice-type Terra Blast. He lost Hidden Power fucking years ago, which kind of made it bad. But now, having that nice little Ice Terra can actually make this thing relatively viable. I probably should have gone for that in the beginning against the Flapple. Um, but, you know, it's fine. Electro gets to, gets to roll over the rest of the team here. And a Thunderbolt takes care of the Lobster. So that is going to be the end of the match. And that was extremely close. It basically came down to the, the Hurricane Miss. So... Unfortunate for my boy Chris, but still a really good game. Whenever we play, we always have really good matches, and that's why I really like uploading against this guy. Go ahead and definitely check out his channel. His link is in the description. He makes a lot of uh, Wi-Fi Battle videos if you're looking for more. And thank you guys very much. I will catch you next time. Peace out.